please, please give a very warm peel. You welcome to Adam Utley. Is this on? Uh, I hopefully it will be soon. If you just... <laughs> can we turn this on? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. You can just talk really close to me. We'll make it work. Um, we've already watched the cat video, so... Uh, so, you are on McGraw Zoo Improv. That's true. Uh, you've... And we, in case it starts working, we might be getting feet upstairs. So you're on McGraw Zoo Improv. That's true. Yep. Hey! hey. And you also own your own company called YesWorks, correct? Yeah, that's yeah. right. That's, so you're, you're doing these things, and it's all improv-based. It's yeah. all, that's, that's kind of your area of expertise, improv, correct? That's true, yeah. So how did you, I mean, most people when they graduate college, they're like, I'm going to make a career to improv, making yeah. things up. Well, how does, how does that work? How did yeah. you? Yeah, that's a great question, Sam. Um, uh, no, nobody should graduate from college thinking that they're going to uh, have a career in improvisation. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't happen. Are the clay crows here? So sorry. I, don't like, I, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I did know, though, because I was a, I was a th uh, theater major, mm -hmm. that I didn't want to graduate from college being a theater major, not do anything with it. So uh, I kind of um, put my nose to the grindstone and started uh, uh, volunteering all throughout Tacoma, uh, seeing if I could get people to learn the language of improvisation by that. Uh, so I just volunteered, and then it kind of turned into a career. Uh, and yeah, that is all I do with my time, yeah. It's just you're, you get paid to improv, and that's it pretty much, or at least to teach it. I get paid to teach it, uh, perform it, um, yeah, prim primarily that, and then uh, and talk about it right here. Wow, mm. That's super cool. So you've, did you start, so you started volunteering right after school? Is yeah. that how it, so as soon as you mm -hmm. start volunteering, it eventually turned into a career? Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. Wow, that's, that's insane. So just, you just did it, and it, and it happened. I, Right, yeah. I do. I, well, it took me 16 years, but yeah, I just... So you volunteered for 16 years? No, well, okay, let me back up. Okay, here. okay. It took me 16 years to get to this point. Okay. And if anybody knows, if they work towards something that they have a nag in their body, you know, they just can't get rid of it. It takes a long time before you start to go, oh, that's what I'm doing. And that's why it took, took, say it took me so long. You can tell he's a PLU along with that vocation talk in there. You can tell with that. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so tell us about McGraw Zoo Improv. I've gone okay. to one of your shows. You were incredible. Uh, tell us a little bit about like, how that started and then what your role is and a little bit about the team. Okay, I'll try to keep this short. Um, sure, sure. I hope you're not going to ask me how, what the name means. Oh, that was my next question. Oh. Well, okay, the name is, uh, is supposed to be gibberish, and it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so it has no meaning. Yeah, we didn't want to have a group that had improv at the end of it, just because, uh, you know, people are people, and they'll look at a poster, and they'll see the word improv, and they'll think they know what that is, and we didn't want people to come to our show thinking they knew what we were going to do. Uh, and if anybody knows, want to know what we do, we do uh, long-form improvisation, where we do... Uh, two 45-minute one-act plays based off a word. So uh, it's crazy, it's insane, um, and it takes a lot of training, and I love it with all my heart. And you, yes, yeah, give it up for Adam. He's, he's doing what he wants to do. And there's a few PLU other alums on that team, aren't there? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I met those guys uh, through... Uh, I actually came back to PLU with my, uh, my, my volunteering and realized, because I was a theater major, and realized that PLU did not have any improvisation at all. So I came back to PLU and said, hey, PLU, let's do this. And because I said, let's do this and wouldn't leave, that's why the program is still here. Wow, so you started the Clay Crows, right? Or you yes. helped to start Yeah, he helped start the, yeah, that's... That was the program you came back to start, right? That's, that's that volunteering? That's one of the programs I started around Tacoma, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Like, so are you, are you kind of like, when you, when you think of Tacoma Improv, are you kind of like the guy that people look to? Is that... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I, I didn't want you to toot your own horn. Adam I, is the guy. Just, that's the... I, 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 I like to know that I am an influence. I am a guy. 
there are a lot of guys and girls in Tacoma who are uh, fantastic improvisers. So yes, I'm glad to be a part of that group. Am I the best improviser in Tacoma? No. <laughs> but I'm pretty good, yeah. <laughs> So, and then you also started your own company called YesWorks. You tell us what YesWorks does and how how that works. The YesWorks is primarily it's a it's a it's taking the language of improvisation and infusing it into work culture that uh, allows basically. Uh, I've talked with a lot of people in the real world and how they talk about their workplace and how they hate coming to work and how they can't really uh, engage with their coworkers because they don't have a shared language of how to collaborate effectively. So that's pretty much what I do. I come in and I impart the knowledge of improvisation on them without doing the, the performance side of things. And, and it's, uh, it's amazing. It's wow. gangbusters. And you've done, so you've, you've done a UW to come, you've done Habitat Humanity, Microsoft, all these companies. Yeah. How, how did you wind up getting them to do that? Like, how do you get people to like, yes, come to improv with us? How does that work? Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It's 16 years of work. It's right. a lot of networking. It's a lot of cold calling. It's a lot of emails. It's a lot of saying, uh, hey, let me come and do this for free. And when you get in the door, that's how you start to get kind of you know, under their skin and they start to understand who you are. It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of trust. Another improv exercise, yeah, perhaps. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the, so it's it basically persistence is what you're saying. When Absolutely. You're, when you're doing it, you just have to keep doing a thing until something comes out of it. It's, yeah, yeah. Wow. Hard work uh, is, not, is not to be taken lightly. Hard work, hard work, hard work is a key to life, for sure. And you did uh, like a, some sort of a TED talk that we noticed with McGraw Zoo, correct? Yeah. So, did how does an improv troupe do a TED talk? Like, imagine they're just like, yeah, just get up there and talk, be inspirational, and make it up. Like, uh, yeah, well, uh, we thought long and hard about that, and uh, we we talked for we we kind of described the art form, and then did about five minutes of a one act play. That's kind of what we did. No, we didn't want to get up there and just make stuff up because nobody's going to get any value out of that. And they're going, oh, look at those guys doing their thing. No, nobody cares about that. They do want information, and I believe we gave that to them for sure. Wow. That's super cool. I mean, yeah. he did a TED Talk, and our other guest has done a TED Talk. This is so cool. Yeah. Um, and PLU alum, could you tell us a little bit about your time at PLU and okay. like what were you doing improv here? Because if there wasn't a team, how did that how that no, work? No, no, I was just doing theater. I was doing theater, uh, and I was also doing uh, when I was here. I think what's the name of the acapella group here? Uh, Plutonic, Plutonic or Harmonic. Harmonic and Plutonic. Uh, when I was here, uh, there also wasn't an acapella group. So uh, me and five other guys, we were. An you, wait, wait, you, did you found Clay Crows and Plutonic? Yeah. <laughs> what? How did I not know that? What? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so, sorry, I cut you off completely. It's that, okay. was, that, that shocked me. Could yeah. you continue with what you were saying? Yeah. Sorry. No, uh, uh, so that's what I did. So I did uh, acapella and I did theater here. Uh, and then just took that and made it. I didn't make a career out of acapella. Uh, and at the same time, though, it, uh, whenever I see an acapella group, uh, I will just, I don't care who you are, I will watch you. <laughs> what? October 27th? Oh, the, the acapella groups are inviting Adam to their show right now <laughs> from the audience. All right, I'll be there. That's great. So. Like acapella wise, do you do you still sing? Like, do you still join in, in groups? Do you do like a? I was I part of a Victorian Victorian Carolyn group in high school. Do you do anything like anything like that? Uh, no, no, I don't. No, yeah, I do. Too cool for I do it, I still too sing cool. when I'm when I do uh, shows uh, at various random points, and my singing career is under the rug. Uh, and I could bring it out, not right now. If not that's right what now. You're look no, I'm not going to sing for you. Okay. No. All right. Well, we won't do that. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, so you, you've, you have a passion for, for singing and improv. Have you ever done an improvised musical and, and put them together? No, but that is incredible. Have you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. With the Clay Crows, which you started, which is, yeah. It all comes full circle. That's amazing. Which, yeah. Uh, I think that's, um, that's admirable. And was it good? Are you? I don't know. It was. It was. It was what it was. We did it. It was. It was great. I want to. You're here to talk about yourself. That's why you're here. You're not here to interview me and the fair. Clay Crows. That's fair. So, let's see. What do I want to ask about you next? Is the uh, so you've 
you have, a, what does it look like, what does your day-to-day -day look like? So do you have, is it like a nine-to-five schedule? Mm -hmm. Or are you, what is, what is the day in your life? What is the day of an improviser, somebody who owns an improv company like? Uh, get up, cold calls, cold emails, design marketing, go to a workshop, come back, cold calls, cold emails, more marketing, go to sleep, get up and repeat. <laughs> do, when do you do the, do, when do you improv? Um, Fridays? <laughs> <laughs> so is that, so just during the week you kind of get up cold, you yeah. cold email every, so what is that like just sending out cold emails every it's single day? It's sad, week? it's super sad. <laughs> you know, when you try to uh, craft a message that you know is a good message and you realize that Inten uh, inflection and intention behind that message gets lost in email. It's, it's, li it's literally sending things out into a void and you get about mm, maybe 0.05% response back. And that's just part of the deal, you know? Like I said, hard work. But you're, do you're doing it, and you're doing it full time. Like yeah. that's, that, you've made a, with hard work, you made a living out of it. That's that's, right. I think that's pretty incredible. Uh, thank you. Um, Thank you so much for coming on to the show and doing this interview with us. We've got Adam coming back for a very fun game uh, after our interview with Tawana. But please give it up for Adam. We've got Tawana coming.